So, hi there everyone, welcome to a new series on the channel. My name's Leon, I'm the one looking after you. And in this series, we're going to be playing a game called Chef. And I've been thinking about doing this one for a while. But I want to... I've decided now's the right time. So we're going to have a bit of fun with this one, but we'll explain some of that later on in the episode. So, kind of getting it all set up, we've got to choose our starting restaurant. I don't want anywhere big, because I mean, the rent on it is ridiculous. Um, and these are all quite, quite expensive. That's probably the cheapest one there, the medium kitchen, medium hall. It's in the suburbs. High value family, food enthusiasts, gourmet, cheapskates, vegetarian, vegans, and trash customers. Um, oh, we've got this one, which is in a country village, isolated. Oh, well, that one's cheaper. What's this? Industrial district. So a blue collar, white collar, cheapskates, trash customers, nightlife. Hmm. I kind of think I, I kind of like this one. We'll go with this one. So we're going to be doing the tutorial to start with and also introducing the first of our house specials which are going to be designed by or chosen by members of the community so we'll come to that later on right come on just gotta wait for it to load there we go right Um, so up here we'll get the alerts, usual controls, right, so it's quite a strange shape, kitchen area, so we've got to place, um, well we've got to design our kitchen, actually we'll design our whole restaurant, so colour scheme wise we haven't got many options to start with, what we got? Concrete floor. Um, I'm going to do that one. In the kitchen, we'll have a concrete floor, but it will just be white, which is kind of already what it is. Restaurant walls. Um, yeah, we've we'll got that to start with. Kitchen walls, just simple paint. Outside walls, just do brick. There we go, right. So we need a place a counter. So these are the counters. Go in the kitchen. Um I'll go that one. Right, well let me put it there. So we'll put them over against this wall, right, right, we'll put two in, we now need to put a cooker, which I'll put there. Right, 
Right, it's in four tables. Also gonna put in a Grill. And there's loads of other stuff you can see we can add over time as well. Um, what kitchen wouldn't have a fridge? So there's a fridge. Because it actually reduces the cost of all ingredients as well. Right, so we've got a bit of some furniture in. We are going to go for, looking at the shape of this, I think we'll go square tables. One. Can we get another one in there? I know, we'll try it. There. Two. Three, four, well, we don't want to go too mad, we want to put some tables of two in. there that doesn't look too bad got plenty of space to fill but we'll do that with over time um because of course the bit we've got to remember is that of course the more things there is the more people will want the more people potentially you can have in sorts of things with decorations one there can we get one on that wall as well yeah um, menu boards trying to figure out how to get this doesn't want to go on that wall right so we'll have one there one there of course a clock You can and this artwork as well. So lots of things you can do to decorate it over time as well. So that's just a quick start. Right, menu. So If you pay anything much, anything at five dollars. So we've got to go not too too mad on the prices. We'll put six items. So we're going to go. So what main courses we got available to start with? Um, I'm going to put steak on the menu. Now when it's red, means we haven't quite got the equipment yet for doing them. So I like to say I can have steak, but I can't have steak and potatoes. Um. We'll put, no, I can't have that. You can have the Italian tomato pasta. Um, 
I mean, cod fillet with salad. Put butter pasta. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Steak would be more expensive. Salad. We'll put the turkey salad on the menu. One, two, three, four. Soups. I'll put the mussel soup and the tomato soup. Right, we'll come back to that in a second. Mm, are we going to put the garlic potato? Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Side dishes. Can't put any of these on at the moment because we haven't got all the equipment. Desserts. Uh, we've got to put apple cream pie. And chocolate chip cookies. What would be to start with? Uh, we, did we only put we only put the what we didn't put any appetizers, did we? Can't do the quiche Lorraine. So we'll put that. Now this menu is going to change over time. So, so that's that one right staff <coughs> uh, so you can hire up to f five people won't need a second chef at the beginning yeah probably not but so what we're doing is looking at waiters now each some of them have got bonuses so this one's the cheapest But this one's got extra skills. Um, I might actually have two. And what we'll do is we'll have you. And we'll have you. Right. This is the fun bit. Uh, recipe editor. Okay. So, I'm just going to have a look through what we've got available. Um, we have pasta, it just says pasta. So these are the different ingredients we have available to use. I'm going to come back to that in a second. Policy paddle. So you can set targeting for certain things. We're not going to do any of that at the moment. But we want to open the restaurant. Right. We go back to recipe editor we're going to do a oh no, it's a pasta dish the main course and this one as you saw from the title of the video is called 15 a pasta and it's an idea given to me by 15 of fame so pasta based I want to do it with where is it? Is that one? Yeah. Fresh pasta. Oh well, it's going to do it that way. Okay. Um, we need beef. Um, do -do -do -do. Where's the vegetables there? onion so as you can see as we add different bits it increases its demand what tomato um, can I get with mushrooms in it as well yep yeah. I'll put some garlic in it pasta we also then want 
Is that one? Parmesan. It's got a lot of flavour, but not much taste. Let's drop that out. That's better. It's got better taste value. Um, don't think I've really got. Oh, we got herbs. Basil. Oh, look at that! Look at that! Eighty rating. I'm not going to mess around with that anymore because that's a good rating and it's not an expensive dish to make so save that recipe we go back to our menu this is where I hope we can make it which we can there we go that's going on the menu one two three four takes time to prepare but I like it right let's get this up and running we are gripped on a faster speed because it might take a while right there's the people being arriving and they're going to gather in groups outside come in take into the table you can zoom right in and what we we'll probably find is the tables will probably fill up well, I don't want too many because at the moment I've only got the one chef and of course the more staff I employ the more it takes right we've got a review um, there we go yeah, the garlic potato soup not much of an atmosphere in the place but still a good rating so we'll take that and this gives you information on of course cost so at the moment we've spent more and more ingredients because they've cost other orders but we can also see different types of things what they like and so they had garlic potato soup they've had the tortilla de patate for so we've got people spending money right this is where we get to learn some knowledge um let's put some points into this because we've got a few pasta dishes on menus so that unlocks some of the skills and we're going to put some into the meat as well there we go right and of course what else you get is as you kind of go through bits you'll get points where you can buy new ingredients and there's different levels so you've got the standard this one at the moment is for a small restaurant you then move into the the um, greens which are then the next level up and then the blues which are the kind of very very fine cuts so what i want is Let's have a look what have we got that's interesting that we can make oh I know what we want because at the moment we've only got beer on the menu right let's put red wine white wine on the menu just go on this because these are more expensive at the moment um, let's see what can we need Take the vegetable stock. T 
take soybeans Uh, no, I'm not worried about the nuts at the moment. Fruits. Of oranges. Lemons, limes. Right. Uh, we also want. Mm. Got me thinking. Is there anything there? Not the chicken. I'll take the lamb. Peppers. Still got one more item I can choose. Should we take the lobster? Yeah. Put something fancy on the menu. Right. Let's go back to the menu. Actually, let's go to the recipe editor because I want to do another dish, which will be a meat dish. We'll do another main course, and this will be red event chicken. Right, so we want meat, so we're going to start with chicken, we want onion, oh. onions, mushrooms, I uh, want potatoes in there, garlic, Um, what else we got? Some bacon. Whoa, look at that. 40, 40, and 83 rating. Not sure if I've finished yet. Cream. Now let's remove that. Didn't really help it. Um, white wine. Yeah, that's gone a bit too much. Not really doing anything for it, so we'll leave it at that. Hit the save button. Go to the menu. There we go. Red event chicken. That's going on the menu as well. One, two, three, four. Well, four be more than, or four whatever more than 15 of Fame's dish. So, we're going to do that. We've got some more decisions available. So, once you get like a certain amount of popularity, you can ask for things. But let's get this day finished. We'll crank it up to eight times speed. Oh, I'm going to hit the play button again. So each day is the equivalent of a business week. So we're going to see how we get on. I don't. We're not going to make a profit on day one because, of course, we are. Okay, I've not seen that message before. So as you can see, is now all our big tables are full. So we are, um, we are losing people. Let's clear a table. Got some more reviews in, but we'll look at those at the end of the day. I probably need to put another big couple of big tables in. Not massively busy day. Let's have a quick look at the reviews 
So people saying about a little too waste. Oh, I tried never to swap not put them back on the menu. Is the wine one, two, three, one, two, should we put up four? Um, let's have a look. Customers, not your orders. Bought a pasta cheap blonde who can find a heavily hard part of the pasta garlic potato soup, roasted onions and cheese sauce, oh, red event chicken, red event chicken, 15 a pasta. So, a couple of orders of our, our specialist dis dishes. Um, we're making a reasonable amount there, but it's going to be the costs as well. So we're just gonna wait now, it's in the service is still going on. As it is, we're gonna take a big chunk, it's gotta pay, is it three members of staff's wages, rent and everything. So, actually if we can see how this day goes, it will tell us a lot. Is taking a long time for meals to be made. And so there's if we put any more tables in we would definitely need a second chef. Right, I'll speed through. And then we'll start evening service. So people start to gather. Oh, slow, it's time slowed down again. Let's put that back on fast forward. So here you go, table of four, table of three, another table of one. Well, it's table of two actually. That's all our big table's full again. So what we'll probably have to do is, it might be a case of having to go mad and get rid of a second chef, put more tables in and just going for it. But you can let me know your thoughts in the comments. And also we're gonna to have to call the restaurant something as well. So again, any ideas you've got for names, let me know. Right, what's the comments? Let's roll that back up. No, they didn't like the soup. See, we're just getting average ratings at the moment. People are happy with the prices, but not with the ambience. So if anything, what we might be able to do is put more tables in, increase our costs a little bit, Maybe all things like the main courses. Because that might cover the cost of the, an extra chef's wage. Or maybe try that. We'll have a look at how the day pans out. There we go. Right. So there's the bit will be is how much I mean we're looking at what 170 520 just trying to work out roughly what it'll cost and then maintenance and everything we're coming towards the end of the day now as well let's have a quick look at these took a while oh there you go 15 the past was the best experience of his life there you go Stephen people liked you he, what he said it should have been done with macaroni, but unfortunately I don't get that option. Right, we're getting towards, probably once these ones finish. Uh, 
There we go, right. So we aren't 589.23. Now, okay, it says, here, it says we've spent 4479, but 3,500 of that was furniture. So we're about 900. So we need to definitely increase our costs, prices. So, yeah, that'll be our plan for the next episode. But if you've enjoyed it, please do hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new or if you haven't already done so, leave your comments below. And if you've got any recipes you would like to suggest, please do leave them in those comments. But until the next episode, bye-bye for now.